Hey everyone, I'm back with another video, and today I'm going to be doing my Nintendo 3DS game collection. And, um, yeah, so I'm going to start off with my, um, uh, my first games in order. Um, so obviously this is May 22nd, it's an update, I haven't really done a video of it. But my first game I ever got was Super Mario 3D Land. If I can get this camera to focus here, get a little better view over there if you guys can see that. Yup, and here's the back of it, um, yeah, if you can tell here, it has a lot of stuff, here now, it tells you a lot of stuff, um, what typically this has is it, um, well, good graphics, obviously, the best 3D graphics for the 3DS I've ever experienced, now, the only thing that's really boring about this game is that, um, it doesn't give you online multiplayer, but there's really no reason to have that. But it has an excellent 3D graphics, like I said, and then the gameplay is just epic, and, you know, it's pretty fun. Um, I've had really good experiences with this game. Um, I never had really any trouble. It's much more fun to get Tanuki Mario, which is one of my favorite characters. Um, and you do get Fire Mario, and you get the, I don't know what Mario this one is called over here. I'm not sure. Um, if I can remember it, um, or if I don't, but you can let me know. There's obviously the, mo um, Baby Mario, and then the Mushroom, uh, oh, the Mario upgrade to regular Mario, which is if you get the Mushroom. And, yeah, this game's pretty fun. It isn't really that tricky, except the final level. Um, but yeah. So yeah, this game has good graphics, I'll tell you what, it's recommended. Um, if you want online games you shouldn't really get this but if you want you know if you're a Mario fan this is a really good game if you want a good graphics game this is really good. Alright so for my second game was Mario Kart 7 and this is one of my best games ever yet. Now this game was pretty fun. Um I have a eleven thousand seven hundred something VR. Now I'm still currently trying to get more VR here. I am a really good racer. I only add 10,000 VR players and up, but yeah. So obviously this is featured with new um, items. There's the um, Tanuki item, or that's turned into Tanuki Mario. Um, but it really just puts in the back of the cart or something. And here's the um, Fire Flower, which really works in handy. It's pretty cool. And here's the Lucky 7, which is one of my favorite items. It doesn't use all the items, it just use seven, and that's why it's really to um seven over here. Um that's why they call it Mario Kart Seven. Um, but yeah. And then here are all the other items. All these other items here. There's the banana the banana peel item, the green shell, red shell, blue shell, which is I hate. I do have a glitch. Um, where you can actually dodge it, or, like, you have to use a mushroom or something. I'll actually show you sometime soon, if I have the time. And there's the, um, bomb bomb, there's the mushroom. Uh, I believe this is the golden mushroom, and then the, um, right over here is the, um, bullet bill, a uh, glooper, the, um, lightning item, which I'm not sure what it's called, and the star shooter, whatever it's called. And then there's all the other things over here. Um, yeah, so, it's a pretty fun game, it's a little different, but, yep, it's a lot of fun, gliders and stuff, but yeah, that's my second game I got. And, on to my third game, which is Kid Icarus Uprising. Now, this is definitely one of my favorite games. It also has online multiplayer, and it's really epic, it has intense, really good graphics. Alright, so, yeah. And, yeah, alright, so let's get started. We'll show you the back of this. So, obviously, you, uh, first do land battles and then air battles. This has online multiplayer. You can do local and online. Um, you also do get these cards over here. Now, you have to get one of those bigger limited edition packs for about 40 bucks. Now, the regular pack, which you don't get these AR cards, the regular box like this, that just, you know, it costs $30. If you want to get this, um, stand that came with it, over here, this, it really comes in handy, especially for sometimes when I'm doing gameplays. Um, that is an exclusive as well as AR cards, and a few other accessories that you get for this game. That'll be $40. That'll be coming in the bigger box, which that's what 
which I obviously got. This is just a part from it. I can't really find my other box. But yeah, it has all the multiplayer. Very intense gaming. You do have boss battles and a lot of combos. You have melee claws. You've got um, arrows and bows and whatnot and clubs and arms as well. It's a pretty fun game here. Very good. Epic intense graphics. It's really fun. I'm mostly playing Mario Kart 7 now. I still play my other games. Alright. So for my third game, it is... Alright. Mario Tennis Open. Now this is one of my favorite games as well. Still getting a little boring. But it does have online multiplayer. However, it lags. The way to get the best is you have to get near your internet um, cable, whatever, to get the best access. Especially because it mostly lags when you're far away from it, even if you're in your house. Which for AT&T, which is my new internet, which sucks when you're far away, or like in my room, it's not that good of an internet. It will lag a little bit. But yeah. So obviously you have double character matches, you have single matches. I only like doing the ones with one character, because the CPUs always mess it up. And yeah, there's a lot of courts and ring challenges, and you can customize it. Alright, so for my final game that I've gotten, well, I am going to be getting more like maybe Donkey Kong Returns 3D and maybe Mario Golf, a lot of those games pretty soon, is Paper Mario Stick Star. Now, I don't have Luigi's Mansion or Pokemon My Mystery Dungeons. That's because I've been trying to save money and for other stuff and stuff. But yeah, there we go. And this is a really fun game. Now, obviously, I have Paper Mario ex Experience, but it's still pretty fun. There's stickers everywhere, and that's why they call it Sticker Star. Because paper and stickers and whatnot. Now, I'm, I haven't completed this game. Well, I have, um, but somehow I forgot to save it. So, yeah, so I, that's why it's, I don't know. Which, I mean, like, I'm already on level 1-6 now because I, it's been a while since I've saved it because of that. But, yeah, it's pretty fun. You have bosses and th this game, and it's pretty fun. A little tricky for some points. But yeah, this part over here was really hard while I'm pointing at. But yeah, this is a pretty good game. But yeah, bye everyone. And please subscribe, I will subscribe back, I promise you guys. And yeah, bye everyone.